It's a doorway into one of the most exotic continents on Earth. From the shoreline of the Atlantic Ocean to the peaks of the high Atlas Mountains and into the dunes of the Sahara, the landscape is just a backdrop against one of the most diverse countries in all of Africa. With its blend of cultures, languages, religion, and cuisine, it's an oasis of diverse customs and traditions that have heavily influenced this part of the world for centuries. Yet it's the heartbeat of this country's traditions and customs that can be found in the faith and music of the people. This is the gateway to Africa. This is Morocco. Morocco's history stretches back more than a millennium. From the Amazir dynasty more than a thousand years ago, up to its restoration as a sovereign nation from the French protectorate, Morocco is an exotic country filled with culture and tradition. And at the heart of this nation's cultural heritage is her music. To explore the music of Morocco would be a voyage unlike any other. Journeying across Morocco and visiting 10 cities over 15 days, these three friends will travel through the heart of this exotic country. Let's go, I'm gonna show you Morocco in style. Nouaman Latlou is a Moroccan superstar singer, songwriter, and producer. Hassan Hakmoun is a master Ganawa musician who has performed with many international artists, including Peter Gabriel. Laurent Legal is a documentary filmmaker looking for his next great story to tell. The history of Morocco's music continues to weave threads into the fabric of today's melodies. It's what these three friends hope to explore on their journey across the northern part of Morocco. Their voyage begins in Morocco's largest city, Casablanca. The city is a remarkable blend of modern architecture with old world charm, a unique fusion of 21st century life and Islamic heritage. It's a thriving, pulsing center of culture and history. A perfect representation of Morocco's commitment to heritage and tradition can be found in Casablanca at one of the largest and most exquisite mosques ever built. Built along the Atlantic Ocean, this is the Hassan II Mosque. It's beautiful, it's one of the largest in the world, and it's named after the current king's father. I wish Casablanca to be endowed with a large, fine building, of which it can be proud until the end of time. I want to build this mosque on the water, because God's throne is on the water. King Hassan II, 1980. But we are here in, in we on are the water. On the water. We're on the water. It's built on the water. And we, even when you're praying, you're praying and see the water. It's the third biggest mosque in the world and the highest minaret in the world. Started in 1986 until 1994, uh, day and night, 24 hours a day. But what what's what is fantastic for me is that every single piece here has been made by hand. No machine has worked in the whole mosque. And this wood sailing opens in the summer.
one of the beautiful things I like most about Casablanca is the Hassan II Mosque. It's one of the best places in Morocco to visit. And the most beautiful thing about this mosque is that all the Moroccan have participated in the building of it by giving a lot of uh, money. People from Casablanca we are very proud of this site here in Morocco.